Thank you very much for inviting me to speak at this the ninth edition of the Geneva Health Forum. Reinventing global health in such unprecedented times is no easy ask because we know that human health is synonymous with planetary health. Floods, droughts, heat waves, pollution, wildfires, pandemics, as the IPCC has made very, very clear just a few weeks ago, the catalogue of climate disasters continues to grow. And with each page that we turn in that catalogue, the impacts on human health are more and more severe. At a time when our planet is growing sicker and people and animals along with it, we at UNEP are proud to have joined the Quadripartheid Alliance on Health, along with our partners, the WHO, the Organization on Animal Health and the FAO. What is apparent to everyone involved in One Health is that no one sector can solve the many problems that we face alone. To secure human health and animal health and environment health is to secure the very future of this planet and we need more collaboration and more partnerships. We at UNEP are deeply committed to a rights-based approach to One Health because everyone has a right to a clean and healthy environment. UNEP is committed to prevention through the new 50 million euro Nature for Health Fund that we were proud to sign with Germany during the United Nations Environment Assembly. We will support upstream investments in nature so that we are able to restore nature's barriers and services and reduce the spread of disease. UNEP is committed to addressing the shared drivers of human, animal and environmental health risks. And UNEP is committed to supporting the shifts to a more equitable and sustainable food system. As the newest member of the Quadripartheid Alliance, but as an organization turning 50 this year and having therefore worked in this field for 50 years, we are ready to do our part. So I thank you and I very much look forward to hearing about the outcomes of this important gathering.